I think uh, independent marketing is a very interesting term, but it should not be taken in the most poetic sense. You know, it should be seen in the sense of real business value. And for me, when I reflect on what independent marketing means, I think it's three things for me. Uh, it's freedom, of course. Uh, it's fearlessness. And it's resources and resourcefulness. Uh, I think those three things basically enable an independent marketer to be able to deliver value for customers. That is the crux of what marketing stands for. And hence play a very important, in fact, the most critical role of value generation for the business. Now, it is this independent marketing backed with freedom, fearlessness, and resources and resourcefulness that allows one to create long-term sustainable value. And especially in a category like ours, which is under the hood, you cannot see, feel, and touch, and yet is amongst the top brands in terms of brand value contribution, purposefulness, innovation. It is uh, this independent marketing, I feel, that, one, uh, that allows one to imagine how an engine oil brand can impact the lives of millions of mechanics and improve the health of truckers. And it is this freedom, fearlessness, and resourcefulness um, that allows Castrol to showcase product performance by demonstrating it in the mass mission and hence giving confidence to the largest and the most complex industries on earth to trust Castrol. And finally, I think it is this independent marketing, the freedom, the fearlessness, the resourcefulness that fuels the passion of my um, very talented and resilient team as they pick prestigious awards across the globe for the fabulous work they do. Being from the background that I am, I understand engine and machinery better. And let me try and explain it in the context of how an engine works, right? So there are three parts to an engine. There is, uh, there is the hardware or the body of the engine, the steel that you see. Then there is the fuel or the energy that goes into the engine. And then there is the operating efficiency of how you make an engine work best. Now, when I think of an independent marketing team and how these three parts work, I think the hardware or the body or the machinery of an independent marketing team has two aspects to it. One is knowledge and capability, uh, both internal as well as external in terms of the agencies and the partners that you work with who complement the, the strength of knowledge that you have or you may not have. And the second part of this hardware is actually the insight and the customer connect and the pulse of the market, right? Uh, and that hardware, the insight and the connect with the customer, the consumer can be both systemic, which is your tracks and your researches, et cetera, but will also need to be informal, which is what you gather from sales when you meet consumers in the market, et cetera. And interestingly, this hardware needs to continue to evolve, right? Um, for example, when we thought of the campaign of Super Mechanic, which is a very prestigious contest for mechanics today, it actually came from an ethnography study when we spent time with mechanics in the market. And suddenly we had this insight to say that no mechanic wants their child to become a mechanic. And hence the reason for us to build a recognition platform. So that's really the hardware of an independent marketing engine, which is the knowledge capability as well as the insight and the customer consumer connect. The second part of any moving machine is the fuel that fuels it, right? Um, and to my mind, there are three aspects to that fuel as well. Uh, first is to give your team the bandwidth, right? You need to be able to have time in the marketing team to be able to do your consumer connect, to go to the market, uh, to do think tank and, and integrated brand campaign exercises with your agencies and hence have that kind of a leeway to be able to just pause, reflect, and build that connect back. After you have the bandwidth, you of course need the organization support. And especially when you're trying to do disruption in the organization, or you're trying to rally a big change in the organization, it's very important that you have the support of a large organization. I mean, for Castrol, for example, if you're thinking of getting into rural very seriously or launching a new range of auto care products, or launching a program for EV readiness, it's not alone marketing that will be able to do it. So you need the larger organization support and rally them as a fuel to this independent marketing. And I think the third part of the fuel that goes inside an independent marketing team is power and delegation. Uh, of course, the budgets and, and all of that, but also uh, to be able to give the authority and the accountability to the team to the last level and hence, 
every individual in the team need to hold a project close to their heart to be able to run this engine very well. And the last part of what makes independent marketing work to my mind is the systemic operating strength and efficiencies. And what do I mean by that? I think the first piece is about having execution excellence and the organization design to be able to drive that excellence. Uh, to be able to launch new products, you need teams which are focused in supply chain, in R&D, et cetera, to be able to see them to success. And similarly, if you're trying to generate income or value from a new business, then you need a team that supports the business. The second operating eff efficiency, I think, is very strong project management, the right digital tools, the right agile principles, so that you're able to get more out of the team time and also probably free up one of those elements of bandwidth that I spoke about. And finally, I think it's about culture and culture that values innovation, with very little fear of what could go wrong. Yeah? And of course, you need the right controls in place that minimize the risk. But you shouldn't swing to the other side where you suddenly feel that the team is not able to free think. And again, going back to the point of freedom, fearlessness, and resourcefulness. And you know, when I speak about culture, uh, uh, all of us have failed NPIs, and we have all worked on liquidation plans in our careers. But I think those are good reminders of us, uh, of us to reflect back on what could have been the learning and to not stop trying. Uh, so that's really what I feel goes into the making or the how of an independent marketing team. It is the hardware or the body, which is basically the knowledge, capability and insights. Then there is the fuel in terms of having the right bandwidth, organizational support and the power. And then there is the operating strength and efficiencies, which is about execution, excellence, project management and having the right culture that fuels innovation. I think the question whether it is, whether marketing is independent or cross-dependent, uh, there is no one answer to it, I feel. And I'll tell you why. Let's just reflect back to what I said when I said, uh, marketing needs to be fearless. Um, they need to be free in their mind and they need to be resourceful. And all of these three things to my mind, uh, there are two aspects to it. One is at the idea stage and then there is the execution stage. Now, when I say fearless uh, and unbiased, yeah, I think it's important, yes, but not without the humility and the willingness to listen, because we said uh, insights is the fuel that goes into the engine of uh, independent marketing. And somebody very, very uh, close to me, some one of my mentors told me that, you know, research is the humility of marketers. And to my mind, insights is not just about what comes from research and the organizational systemic research. But I think a lot of fantastic insights and reality of the market comes when you meet your sales team, when you go to the market, when you meet your consumers and customers and really listen to them with the humility of a marketeer. When you listen to your technology and understand what are the trends that may come through, and you listen to your global teams to understand how are different markets operating and if there's something for us to learn from them. When you listen to your supply chain, and understand the cost and the feasibility um, to finance, to be able to understand business value and uh, how would the pricing and how would other elements of finance work to legal for risk and mitigation and so on and so forth. So I think even at an idea stage, it's very important for ideas to seep in from all functions and each of the functions are actually potentially insight inputters. So that's the piece where I think now you call it cross-dependent, you call it interdependent, but I think marketing has an important role to be able to listen to various functions, various stakeholders, and be able to use their inputs as insights into value generation. The other role marketing plays is not just listen, but also sometimes challenge status quo, balance the long term and the short term. And all of us have been in discussions where we're trying to understand how do we do business today as well as keep ourselves ready for future. And it's also about bringing in fresh perspective because marketing in every organization is probably the most outward in looking and the kind of you know, exposure and interplay we have with various agencies allows us sometimes to really bring in new perspectives. And that's important for marketing to bring as a function. The other piece comes when the ideas get into execution, right? Now, I always tell my team that we think and create in headquarters but execution, somebody else makes it happen. So the success of what we have brought to table actually depends on all these functions that I spoke about. 
and even what we see as core marketing deliverables right like creating campaigns activating brands are actually dependent on how we partner with our agencies and hence ownership participation and inclusion at the inception stage of any idea from all your stakeholders is very important and it's not just uh, internal with your functions but also with your agencies so that they feel a part of the team as much as you are and are actually able to bring in outside in an external perspective actually i think that the best marketing teams which you know add the maximum value to their customers and hence to the business are deeply intertwined with functions and their agency partners and with time they are able to garner their respect their partnerships and eventually come up as one team uh, and create a ripple effect and culture of independent invaluable creation beyond just marketing and that's when actually independent marketing becomes the foundation of independent innovation for the business